What is CMIS? Content Management Interoperability Services. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and I make videos on business process automation. This one is about integrating LiveRay and Alfresco in terms of document management. You can display the documents of an Alfresco document management system in LiveRay's own documents and media component. You can even display them together with documents stored in LiveRay itself. The magic behind this is called CMIS, Content Management Interoperability Services. CMIS is an open standard for connecting document management systems using web protocols like WSDL, SOAP or AtomPub. In this video, I'll show you a basic configuration for integrating an Alfresco document management system into LiveRay. Let's see how this works. Okay, what we have to do is a little complex. So, um, first you have to prepare LiveRay for using external repositories. There is a tutorial on this and I put a link in the description below. The first thing you have to do is you have to set session store password to true so LiveRay can store passwords in sessions. And the second is company security out type equals screen name. So you need to set the screen name instead of the email address here because um, we assume that Alfresco has an admin user with password admin and username admin and we have to be able to sync that with LiveRay. Okay, so next step is you create this admin user in LiveRay, username admin, password admin and administration rights and then you log out and you log in with this admin user and that's what we have already done here. So I'm logged in with this newly created admin user with password admin. This is important and now I go to documents and media and I add a new repository and I call this repository Alfresco and I say connected via CMIS and then I choose CMIS repository AtomPub, so I'm using AtomPub as the protocol. And then the system needs the AtomPub URL. And I have now the URL of one of my local machines here. And of course, you have to put the right URL here for your repository. And then I press save. And it says success, your request completed successfully. So that's a good sign. And now I have this Alfresco repository here. And if I click on it and go to the test documents folder, I can see that there are exactly these five documents that I've uploaded in a previous video. And so, for example, I can go on the photograph and I can see the photograph here. And it's displayed in the same way as if it were local here. Although I cannot see this info button, so it's not exactly the same thing. And I get the PDF file with a preview here. And that's it. So now I have connected an Alfresco repository in my LiveRay documents in media and I have my other documents in media and LiveRay also at the same time. I hope you found these videos on document management with LiveRay useful. See you soon.